In this video, I'll be taking you through how to do multi staple delegation with Lace Wallet. It's a new feature and it's a pretty cool one in that it allows you to delegate to up to five staples at a time so that it makes it a little bit easier for you to decide what pool to stake to in the Cardano ecosystem. There's many out there and sometimes it's really confusing and you want to optimize your returns from staking. So having this split up of the delegation makes it a little bit easier and kind of balance out your returns across multiple different staples, but also helps decentralize the network by delegating to some small staple operators. Let's get into this tutorial. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate. So if this is your first time using Lace, check out my other video tutorials that go through all the steps in regards to setting up a wallet, protecting your seed phrase, and ensuring that is all ready to go, and also funding your wallet with ADA from an exchange or from another wallet. But with this video, let's have a look at how multi-staple delegation works. So here we are in Lace Wallet. I have a little bit of ADA already in here. Now, if I go down to staking here, you can see I'm not staked to any staple yet. So what I'm going to do is browse staples. And the really annoying thing with this is that it gives you a, a big list of staples here, and it's really hard to decide which one to delegate to. Now, from this particular interface, it's really hard to see any uh, metrics around these particular pools, and it's not really organized in any sort of order either. So here I'm on the Cardano scan website and I've clicked on pools and here I can see a whole bunch of different state pools with some more interesting metrics. The very first one here is the interest and this is how much ADA is being returned by this pool at the moment and then also a history of how much ADA the pool has returned for its delegates. So the people that are staking to this particular pool. So I like these numbers here. So 3.53% return based on the last six epochs. So the, about the last month and then also the delegator rewards are quite nice as well. I can see a history of almost uh, 5,500 blocks here. So it's looking very good. Uh, so I, I like these metrics that the pool has. Now this one down here, this bean pool is at zero, uh, zero returns, zero blocks and uh, no epoch blocks. So it uh, might be a very small pool, a very uh, brand new fresh one, but it might be one that I also want to delegate to, to help decentralize and spread out ADA within the network itself. So you have a balance here. You, you may want to delegate a little bit of ADA to a pool that is actually minting and returning uh, some rewards for your staked ADA, but you also might might want to delegate to a particular pool in the network to help decentralize the network and help some of these smaller state pool operators. And you can do this with Lace Wallet quite easily with its uh, multi-state pool delegation feature. Now I do have a website here that I've been using. This is uh, my own website and we've got a group of state pool operators that are a part of this group and their ticker names are here. So what I'm going to do is just copy these tickers which identify the pool. There we go. That's one. Go choose another pool here. Add that one. And then the last pool here, B Ada. Great. Okay, so now I've selected my five pools here. Let's go next and start this delegation process. So here on the Lace interface, it split up my ADA, my 100 ADA across these five different state pools here. So 20% into each one of these. So I can see here 20 ADA, 20 ADA, and that all looks good to me. So I'm going to click next and then start this delegation process. So let's have a look at the confirmation screen here. I can see my 100 ADA is now being split and divided across these five different state pools. And I can see a staking deposit here. Interesting. All right. So what is happening here is the very first time that you delegate to up to five different state pools with Lace, it's actually splitting your wallet into five different staking addresses. So each one of these will require a deposit for the very first time it's used. You can reclaim this deposit if you ever close down your wallet in the future. But when you first initially start, you do need that extra two ADA deposit. So I will lose two ADA for that particular deposit. Then lastly, we have a transaction fee here and this is to delegate all of these wallets to their individual pools. So I'm going to click on next and proceed with this process. I'll put in my wallet password here, click confirm and hooray I've staked. 
So let's check my activity here. And I can see my wallet activity. I've received that 100 ADA, great. State key registration, 10 ADA, and then I've delegated to those particular pools. That's it. Now I can go back here, look at my staking overview, and I can see all the pools that I've delegated to as well. So I've lost a little bit of ADA across the top because I do have that uh, amount of ADA that was required for the deposit and also that transaction fee. But I can see here now that I've delegated successfully to all of these five state pools here. And in the future, I can actually go through and manage all this and change which pools I want to delegate to. So if I'm looking at across these five pools and I don't like the performance or I don't like the operator for some reason, I can click on manage. I could click on delete this particular state pool and remove them from my staking list and then redistribute the amount of ADA that is delegated across those particular pools. Really cool, interesting feature. Or I can just add in a brand new one that I like and then go through the process and delegate to that as well. But I'm not going to change anything at the moment because I like these particular state pool operators that I'm delegated to at the moment. So I hope you found this video tutorial useful and interesting. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. There's also our website, learncardano.io, where you can find out more information about staking and more features within these wallets within the Cardano ecosystem. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.